Ciudad Nezahualcoyot, a city within the vast metropolis of Mexico City. Home to more than one million people, it's one of the worst affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. 23-year-old Aket Sali Piña, here at a vaccine drive for her second shot, has seen her community suffer. The pandemic here has been difficult. There has been lots of unemployment, family bereavement, deaths and hospitalizations. The hospitals in this district have been saturated throughout the health crisis. Vaccines, therefore, are key. The district has a large young adult population, and this five-day mass vaccination event aims to inoculate more than 60,000 people. Some 60 million Mexicans, just under half the total population, have now received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. But amid a third wave of infection, young people have been among the worst affected, making vaccine drive events like this one, where China's Sinovac inoculation is being administered, key to boosting immunity. Local authorities say they're thankful for the Sinovac vaccine, 20 million doses in all delivered from China, needing no special storage requirements beyond ordinary freezers. Sinovac has been a very noble vaccine in that it has not caused any bad reactions. That's why we used it for our older population with pre-existing conditions. The supply has been constantly reliable, so it continues to arrive here for our younger population. However, there is still resistance, caused in part by young people who feel they're not at risk and don't want to alter their lifestyle. Health authorities here recommend no alcohol for two weeks following the jab, a tough sell for those used to spending their nights out. A lot of my friends don't want to get vaccinated, they would rather be partying. There's not much we can do about it, it really depends on each individual and they're at a rebellious age. For those rejecting the vaccine here today, the wider community hopes tomorrow's hangover won't be accompanied by a dose of COVID. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Nesawalcoyotl, Mexico.